Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. We going, like you said, we going over who we are in the Bible. Right, that the right, blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the Israelites. Right, and we right, never right. been taught this before. Right, because, right. and uh, and you guys grew up in church? You guys went to church before? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. kind of religion? Uh, uh, Baptist. Baptist, all right. Well, would you just say the same? Yeah. Christian, what about you, bro? Christian and Baptist. Christian and Baptist, right. So in the Baptist church, have they ever stopped to explain to us who we are in the Bible? Did they ever tell us, hey, you know what? We're greater than what the world tells us that the word will tell you we black we negro they'll tell you that hispanics is just oh you know you're a workhorse right but then they'll never really give us who god says we are any substance for us to really believe in the book right. because we, we don't see ourselves in the bible you know? when you look at the bible did you ever see black men what, what did you see when, when you heard about the bible what came to your mind uh white curly hair and it came, white curly, curly hair. hair you yeah. know some of them dudes with the little black black hats yeah. michelle come over sister come over we going over who our people are in the bible we haven't seen ourselves in a book give me that real quick we a bow without an image real quick find that for me we got we, we, we don't see ourselves in the book but we are in the bible this is our history book but because we've been deceived and lied to, now we don't see ourselves. We say, man, it's a white man's book. This is, when I look at it, I see, I see blonde hair and blue eyes. But that's not what God says. You got that scripture for me? Find that for me. We'll buy many days without an image. Hosea 3. Hosea 3. Find that. Because this is something that God prophesied would happen to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, all right. This is what we read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse... Five. Afterward, shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. Verse four. Verse four. For the children of Israel shall abide many days. He said, the children of Israel, that's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We would abide many days, read. Without a king. Without a king. Who's our king, brother? Who leads the black and Hispanic man? Who leads, who leads our people? Who, what leaders do we have to look up to? None. We ain't got none. Obama. We got, okay, your mama? You know I said Obama. Obama, okay. <laughs> I said Obama. So, but then when we look at Obama, what did, what did he do for our people? What, what did Obama do to better the black and Hispanic man living in the hood? What, what he did for y'all? Well, stay with it, bro, because this is important that we gotta learn. No, I got a barbecue to Hold on, but, but barbecue ain't gonna get you what get you what you need to know according to God. Right. And that's gonna just lead you further into sin. Come on, my sisters. Okay, so now read that one more time. For the children of Israel shall abide many days. Now he says we would abide many days. Huh? Where's your church located, sir? Our church is in, is in Denver. But it's, the address That's is on the fly. But he said we're going to abide many days without what? Without a king. Uh -huh. And without a prince. And without a sacrifice. And without an image. So we went without an image. Because when we look at this guy right here, who do we think that is? Bring it out. We say that's Jesus Christ, but now does the Bible say that that's his image? That's what they say? That's what they say. My young brother, who is this right here? Who's that on that picture? Oh, bring it out. Who, who is that guy? Yeah. Right, right there, who is that? Uh, that's... You said that's Jesus. So all of our people, when we see this image, we think, hey, that's Jesus, that's God. Right. But what does the Bible say? Read Re Revelation. Book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. Now this right here, sister, we're going to read to you the Bi what the Bible says about Jesus the Christ. We're going to see, my young brother, does this image match up to what we read in the Bible? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. My sister, what's your name again? Say it again. Shamo? Rochelle. Oh, Rochelle, I'm sorry. You know I'm hard of hearing, sis. I'm sorry. Michelle, Michelle. Michelle, all right. All right, Michelle. So now, what we just read in the Bible, we just read about Christ's hair. I want you to listen to that again. My, bro my brother, my sister, come over, because we just, we're reading about Christ, right? And I want you to tell me what, what, what the Bible says matching up to what this guy right here looks like. Tell me that. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. It said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and like wool. Sister Michelle, what kind of hair is wool? Who out here has woolly hair? I mean, anybody can say anything. Anybody can say anything. But this, we're reading about, this is the Bible, though. Yeah, but how many times has it been rewritten? It, okay, the Bible's been translated, but it, it has nothing changed out of here. Because we can read it and we can see our condition today. Right, right, read right. thousands of years ago, but we see it today. I 
That's why we. I'm gonna show you that. Say it again. I look at it differently. I believe in one higher power. You believe in? Oh, say, say, so you don't believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Oh, so you do? So we reading it? Yes. So let's see what it. There's de there's very very different Bibles. There's I mean there's the old King's version. There's okay. The King's version. There, there, there's tr different translations, but what we. But let's stay right here on this image, right? Because we're gonna read, because we've been lied to about what, what God, what the Bible says. Right. So because in church they told you that He looked like this. We never, we never learned what the Bible says. So now let's listen to what the Bible is actually saying. Now stay with it. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So He said He had hair like wool. My brother, what kind of hair is wool? Black people hair, black people uh, hair. Hey, curly, kinky hair. Bring it out. Right. said, Jesus Christ, it was white. His hair was white and it was woolly. Right. It was afro hair. The hair you got, young brother. The hair you got. The hair the Hispanics got. This is what the Bible says about Christ. Right. So, what the, so what the church has told us about Christ's hair, we know that's a lie. Let's keep reading. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And said, fully white, like, a, like an older brother. We got brothers out here who got white in their hair. Read. Right. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes is red because he drunk wine. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now, wait a minute. It said Christ's feet was like fine brass. What color is brass, my brother, in the back? My brother looked like the shirt. What color is brass? Uh, brown. It's brown. So it said Christ's feet was like Brass, brown. But how brown was it? Free. As if they burned and they burned it. As if it burned. If you burn anything, Sister Michelle, what color does it become? No. It becomes. Does it become brown or does it become black? If you burn white rice, what color it gonna be? Black. It's gonna be dark, right? It's gonna be dark black. So it said Christ's skin, it looked like it was burnt, it looked like it was black. So what did the Bible just say about Christ? He got woolly hair, he got dark skin. That's a black man according to the Bible. But we've been taught this lie in church because the Bible ain't changed, it's the people that taught it to us. They're the ones who came and gave us a false Christ, a false doctrine. This, that's what happened to us, and the Bible told us that was gonna happen. Read that, uh, Matthew 24. The Bible already told us that stuff was going to happen, but right. it's up to us to now go into the Bible and, and decipher the lies from the truth. The lies was, hey, Christ was a white man, but they never could prove it with the Bible. And then now we got the truth. We're reading it out what the Bible says. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Right. So now read, read what, what was going to happen. Read. Book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. Bring it out. For there shall arise false Christ. You see that? It says there was going to arise false Christ. My brother, who would be the false Christ that rose up now? Up. What people are calling, calling themselves after the name of Christ today? Okay, uh, so when you when you go on every there's every corner in the hood, there's usually what? What kind of stuff? Not there's a liquor store and there's also what? Uh, okay. <laughs> you you you'll find liquor stores, you'll find churches everywhere, right? It, it don't take you that, that you don't got to drive that far to run into another Christian church. Right. A Baptist, Mormon, you know, Presbyterian, whatever religion right. they, they claim. It's all these right. Christianity churches, they're everywhere. Right. And since, so that was going to rise up people who call themselves Christian, who, who give us an eye, who try to tell us what God is, but they never actually read it out of the Bible. Right. That's why we do, that's why we out here on the streets to show you what the Bible really says. Because yeah. we never open yeah. it for ourselves. The pastor has lied to us. Right. And we never question him and say, you know what, bro, where is that? How do you how can you prove what you're saying to me? Right. But read. For there shall arise false Christ uh -huh. and false prophets. These false prophets, these 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 pastors in these churches, right. they are false prophets. Read. Right. And shall show great signs and wonders. Uh -huh. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And say they was gonna come against us, and if it was possible, they was gonna deceive us. They was gonna give us a white man Jesus and we was gonna go along yeah. with it. Right. They was gonna give us Christmas and New Year's and we was gonna go along with it. They gonna give us Mother's Day. And we ain't gonna right. really think nothing of it. Like, man, well, how is this my custom? Why do why do my why are my people are celebrating this? Where did that come from? Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we do these things that we don't even look and think, wait a minute, what does this have to do with me or my people? Right. Yeah. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this?
I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 